Hello you lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I'm Penj and welcome back to Sim Airport. So last time we started this, this is our fledgling airport. And, oh is that people coming in? Passenger bus, this is exciting already. So we started out with literally a shell. We had the, the runway and the sort of, is that the taxiway? The road bit. We had a gate and we had a kind of an empty shell with some restrooms and that was kind of about it really. So we've changed it all, we've built some stuff. Is it coming to us? The passenger bus is coming and nobody's getting off. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, I thought we were some passengers. So uh, we've basically turned it into a functioning airport. Beforehand, it wouldn't have done anything. We had no flights. There was no ticketing people. There was no security sort of stuff. Well, I think actually security were here. There was no baggage handling. There wasn't anywhere to sit. There was no queues or anything. So now we've kind of got it sorted. So five ticketing people, some automated ticketing desks got queue for the security we've got baggage and baggage is all connected up to the underground thingy uh if i can no that's entirely the wrong button there we go look so the people put the bags on it goes into the baggage routing station very exciting and they come out and goes into this baggage carousel so that's quite exciting a couple of guys here for the uh, ticketing whatever they are agents what are you you're the gate agent yeah so you have to show your boarding pass that to get on the plane and we have some planes we've got three at the moment so one at 4 a.m., one at 12, and one at 7. So quite staggered throughout the day. I think we can probably fit another flight in. We could probably get another plane in, surely. Because the more planes we have and the more passengers we have and such like, the more money we are going to make. Ah, and obviously that's why we're here. But the first thing I wanted to do was just readjust this a little bit. This is all a bit weird. This is very strange. I don't really understand why the front is... The, you know, this is the front. This is where people come in through the large sliding doors, past the bin, past the garbage area. So I'm going to rezone all that. We're going to have a uh, one out of one garbage areas. Now I think it's free. I don't think it takes, uh, yeah, larger than accommodates more garbage. The zone efficiency can be further increased by play placking dumpsters. Yeah, so I'd rather have the garbage kind of up here out the way. So it looks like we're going to have... Right, let's pause it a second, because this is something that probably needs pausing. So the garbage can go up here. The janitors do have to come here, so we don't want it too far away. Right, clear that. So can we move a dumpster? Oh, we're going to have to dismantle the dumpster. That's a shame. That is a shame. Right, I assume one of our little builder fellas does that. Workman. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm glad he's absolutely flying to it. Come, what are you doing? Are you going to get the bus and go up there? Workman, hurry up. Okay, that's taking an awfully long time. It's this person here that worries me. <laughs> Skeletor, the janitor, is back. Come on, dismantle this dumpster. And then the garbage can go up here, out of the way of the front of the building. I don't know why it's there. Why is garbage at the front? Weird. So let's make a great big garbage bit. Like, I don't know, why not? Like that, just there. That's fine. Right, it's dismantled. What do we do with that then? Does someone take it away? Sell. 1,000. Can I move that now somewhere? What do I do with you? I've got one dumpster in a box, which very neatly packaged them into a cardboard box. That's quite appropriate. Can I... Well, I'll sell it then. Supplies. Sell. Okay, fine. Sell that. Right, so that's that's the garbage truck there. That's fine. So we've zoned out garbage up there. And now we want droppers. How do I unzone now? Uh, zones. None. Splendid. Right. So this, obviously, we don't need all that now. So that could just go to nothing. Drop-offs. In fact, why don't we just clear all of it? Can we just get rid of all of that? There we go. That's far easier. The deliveries bit is where all the builder people are going to go. They can stay down here. They can have a huge delivery area at the bottom. Why not? We'll probably never, ever fill that, but we might as well have it. So drop-off. People likely come out and go down here, don't they? So that's drop-offs. So pickups down here. So this is where people are going to come out. Let's zone all that as pickups and then zone out all this bit up here as drop-offs that seems a little bit more sensible so you kind of come out you can come in these doors if you wish in fact you know what just because it's drop-offs let's just have it like that look so it's ever you can come in those doors if you wish so you didn't stop them so they can come in here if they like and they can go and do all the stuff right good that's fine that's a little bit better today's plan other than rejigging that uh, the, the plan for these videos for Sim Airport is to make them a little bit quicker. It's to make them not lengthy. You know, we don't want to have an hour long video and all these things. We're going to have something quicker, a little bit more punchy and to the point. So what we'll do is, 
we'll probably just do small, you know, baby steps. Baby steps. Uh, let's have a dumpster just there. Two grand for a dumpster. Bloody hell. So today's plan to do something small is to zone out an office where we can put these posh guys in. So the CFO and the COO. $5,000 to hire plus $100 hourly. $100 per hour? Bloody hell. <laughs> You're expensive. Good Lord. Can we can you not just have a food worker doing that? Okay, so we want one of these each. Maybe we only want one at the minute. Finance officer. So we can get finance upgrades. Look, so, you know, bank loans and all that kind of jazz. Uh, so they need an office. And then I would like to put in a kitchen and stuff like that. But first, let's put in an office. Now, I don't know the best place for an office. I might just put an office just here. So how do I build floor? <laughs> this is a good question. Foundation. Makes an area indoors by paving concrete and surrounding it with walls. Okay, well that sounds good. How big does an office have to be? How about that big? And then a, there's a door somewhere, isn't there? A door is a thing. A door, there. So blocked by nearby wall. There we go. So we put a door in. So the office to the top bars is there. Right, okay, is that enough? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh. what's happened? What's happened? Requires secure area. What? Hang on, pause. What's happened? Requires being secured by one or more security zones. What? Have I made this unsecure somehow? Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, is it because the... That door, they're going to build the door and people can come in from there. Oh no, right, take the door out. Cancel the door. Cancel the door. Is that is that good enough? Is it secure again now? Please be secure, please be secure. Otherwise people can't come in. No, no. Now there's a now there's a hole in the wall. Oh god, right. Pause. <laughs> oh, well that went bloody wrong quick, didn't it? Right. All the people are coming in and we can't get the plane to land quick. <laughs> build a wall. Build a wall, build a man. Right, quick. Just get a bloody wall in, you fools. Right, hang on. And also, let's let's unzone that again then. Let's let's clear. Clear that because we don't actually need that. So block by Blocked by pending instruction. Demolish then. Demolish. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's all gone a bit wrong. Oh, why, 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 Delilah? Okay, so you're going to go around and start building this stuff, but no one can come in. No, they're all just wandering through the hole in the wall. <laughs> no, stop wandering around the airport, you fools. Get back in. Security breach. Security breach. Right, okay, okay, fine. Right, we've, we've built the office. What are they doing? Why are they surrounding it by walls just here? I thought they were always surrounded by walls. Oh, I, cl I clearly did that stupidly wrong. Oh god, and now who's going to be on the plane? We're going to have people who shouldn't be on the plane. It's a massive queue. Oh, what? Okay, that went fantastically wrong, didn't it? Okay, fine. Uh, I want to demolish... So why can't I demolish those interior walls? It must be near outdoors. What does that mean? What does that mean? I want to put a door just here. How do I, how do I uh, rectify? <laughs> how do I rectify that? Ah, okay, right. So we can clear those, okay. And now we can put our door in, and I believe it will not <laughs> cause people to be able to go outside. Blocked by a nearby wall. Yeah, door will be, but I can put a door. How are the how are the builder guys going to get in? How are you going to get? As if by magic, they can walk through walls. <laughs> okay, that's fortunate they can walk through walls. Right. Do that. Put a door in. Let's get the guys in to do the door. Right, how's our plane going? How's our plane doing? It's due to depart in 23 minutes. There's not even half the people on board. Come on. Get on the plane. Right. So in it's late. And there are not... There's still nobody bloody on board. Waiting on baggage loading. Well, get on with it then. G c hello, can we do the baggage loading, please? What? Hang on, what's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Golf cart? I've got these up here. Is that because it went wrong? Is that because I obviously screwed up colossally? Right, so you've got to get the golf cart with all the bags onto the play. <laughs> oh, no. Scheduled at 6, left at 7 for 7.47. I suppose that's relatively appropriate. Okay. Right, that didn't go very well. <laughs> that didn't go very well at all. Okay, fine. We'll try harder next time. Right, zones. Office. 
Must contain, yes, yeah, so a fully enclosed space with a door, an office desk, and an office chair. Okay, well, let's zone that out as an office. And, yeah, I imagine it's going to say you need an office desk and an office chair. Okay, so where is office desk? See if we can find it in here. It's not obvious. Office desk. There we go. Uh, let's put it in the corner. Why not? An office chair can be facing it like... Uh, in fact, should we put it sideways? Like that. There we go. So we've got an office chair and an office desk. Let's speed time on. Let's get these dudes in. Oh, I've not got a lot of money, have I? <laughs> I've not got very much money at all. I need the big flights to come in. However, they have built those things, which means I could, in theory, get us a CFO. So hopefully, if I employ him, he costs five grand plus a hundred dollars per hour. We should, if we employ him, right now let's pause it. Come out of that. Research, what can we have? Bank loans I don't want. Pricing. What does that do? So at the minute, can I not alter my price? Ah, I can't alter my pricing. Oh, oh, it's quite expensive. But then I could then in theory after that up my pricing to make it back. Yeah, go on. Pricing. Yes, why not? Let's do some pricing. So the CFO is in his office. I assume if I want one of those guys, which I'm not going to build now, a chief operations officer, I need to build him a different office. He could have had a tiny little office. I didn't know it was that big. He could have had a little tiny teeny office. Okay, I think we need to get another plane in. When's a good time? When's a good time to get a plane in? When's a big gap? So the last one there is nine. So at least that flight should depart at nine o'clock. And then we've got until four in the morning. So what about a nighttime flight? Schedule. Oh no, not that one. It's that one, isn't it? A nighttime flight. You have a nighttime flight. An Airbus A350. I think that might be slightly too big. Uh, let's pause it a minute. Galactic Point. Nighttime. An Airbus 380 and a Boeing 7. How much is a Boeing? They're big though. Oh god, they're enormous. No. Uh, right. Euro. Uh, no, Aerostar. I've got one nighttime. What's that? A Boeing 767. Oh, 250. Still pushing it. Starflight have night times and Ambra what's that? 90 passengers. I might be able to cope with that. Or a Boeing 737. Oh no, Boeing 737 at night. I could cope with that. That is 140 passengers at night. Okay, let's have that on board. Schedule that in. Ooh, maybe not quite as close to you though. Uh, let's push that to there. There we go. And can we bring that back a bit? There we go. And then can I have another flight? Possibly at 8? Can I have another flight at 8 o'clock? If I shifty Aerostar 86 over. Bing bong. Can I have another flight at sort of 8 or 9? So morning flight. So who now has a morning flight? You. Atlanta. Oh no, you don't care. Aerostar. Are very interested. I'd rather get someone else on board. Galactic Point Morning, a 747. Yeah, they're huge. I can't cope with the 747. WestJet 707s, 180 passengers. Yeah. Okay, we'll have you. Yeah, good. Come on in. You'll do. And then we'll move you back a bit. Oh, okay, right. Where's nighttime and where's morning then? Right, okay, so that... That constitutes morning still, does it? So 9am is still morning. Splendid. A minor break there. We'll have to go and deal with the youngest member of the Geek Cupboard. Bawling her eyes out, bless her. Right, we're back. So, yes, flights are scheduled. We've got more flights now, which hopefully should give us some more money to pay for him. <laughs> to pay for the CFO. So let's speed time on. So this is now, this is going to be okay. So I would like to build a cafe and a kitchen as well. So I think to have, a, if I go to zones, to have a cafe, of which you can have many, you need a kitchen. So it says this zone allows you to set up a retail space, such as a shopping area or food service area. Passengers are happier when they're spending their money. And so are you. So, okay, so a cafe needs a kitchen, as I believe. All food serving in restaurants, cafes and bars will need to be prepared and cooked in a kitchen. So that needs a fully enclosed space with a door. Must contain kitchen sink, cooker, prep cart, fridge, pizza oven. Right, okay. So where can I build that? Where is the best place?
to build a kitchen. I'm thinking kind of up here. Build it behind these guys. And then people can just... Oh, do I build it in the middle? Maybe build it round here. If I'm going to build another gate... And this, this is it, though. I need to consider where I'm going to build other gates. Probably going to go up that way to build another gate. And then probably up here as well. Maybe I need a bit more of this as well. Or another runway, possibly, down here. For two lots of flights coming in. So, yeah, I'm thinking... How about we build it just here, at the end here? Build a kitchen. I mean, I don't know what needs to go in a kitchen. Is there a lot? Oh, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Yes. Okay, how's this going to work then? So, foundation. Makes an area indoors by paving concrete and surrounding it by walls. So, if I do that, that's 20... That's an awful lot of money. <laughs> that is vast amounts of money. Bloody hell, how expensive is it to build floor? Hang on. That's very expensive. Okay, so money's coming in from the little plane. That's good. Yeah, we need all the money we can get at the moment. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's... Building floor is very expensive. Staff wages, yeah, you see, we're paying a lot of people. Uh, can we get rid of one of the builder guys? We don't actually need to be paying you all this money, do we? Uh, there was a rubbish builder person, wasn't there? Who was it? A slow person. We'll get rid of you, workman. Uh, goodbye. You're fired. We don't need to pay your wages anymore, which is good. Who are you? Who are you? You're just a dude. Your passenger waiting to be picked up. Maybe don't walk in the road. Why are the pickups people? Why are they just walking around in the road? Stay in the pickups area. Oh, you're just you're just walking home. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Enjoy the walk. I hope you live nearby. Oh dear. I assume that's not an issue with this area being like that, is it? That's, that's, that's weird. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, yeah, we're losing money. I want to build the kitchen. But then I definitely won't have to build a kitchen and a cafe and then staff it out, will I? That definitely won't happen. So, oh, he's nearly finished doing his pricing thing. So, I might be able to up my prices. Okay, I think another flight is probably going to be coming in. Let's check. Where are we? Does it point to where exactly where we are in the day? Two in the morning. Oh, yes, there we go. So a Ford Air 8132 is going to be coming in. Here are all the people. Hello. Come and join the queues. Or not. Don't bother with the queues. Just walk straight to the front, you traitors. I put queues in for you lot. Get in the bloody queue. So these people are coming in. Yes, yeah, look, they're all going to the food vending things. But, but no one's actually... A kitchen would make much money. I think a kitchen would be a good investment. I just can't afford it. There we go. Two grand terminal usage. 400 quid for the runway. All these people. Oh my goodness me. There's an awful lot of people coming in. This is something else I'm going to have to deal with as well. I'm going to have to deal with all these people that come out from here and kind of cross paths with the people going the other way through security. I don't really understand how that works. I'm not entirely sure. If, do these have? Should they have a special route out? To get to the baggage claim or something? I don't really know. I don't like the fact that all the people are walking in the road. Could you stop walking in the roads, please? Because you're going to get killed. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the road is not for strolling. What? I don't get it. Why are they all standing in the road? Passengers waiting to be picked up. So maybe my pickup area change hasn't worked. But no one complains about that, I don't think. No one actually whinges about that, do they? Uh, neat boredom. Oh, ah, right. Oh, there's a thing there. Environment. So, okay, the airport itself is looking all right then. Oh my goodness, there's an awful lot of people in. So everyone, no one's bored at least. Environment seems to be a thing. And then hunger is on 80 something percent. Okay. So environment seems to be the worst thing. And then hunger, which yes, I would like to sort of sort out, but it is very expensive. Okay. Let's... I don't want to do that though now because it's really expensive. So if I just do that as a kitchen, 17 grand, yeah, whatever, let's do it. We can always start again if we have to. We can always start again. I'm hoping I don't have to. I'm hoping I can make this work. Why is that person saying arg? Why are you saying arg? Well, did you miss your flight? Well, that's your own stupid fault, isn't it? Because the plane was here and you should have been aware of that. Right, okay, so they're going to build a space. That's good. Uh, yep, okay, so they put the space in. I need a door, I believe. So let's put a door just there. They've taken the walls away. I want a door just there. But then I want walls just there. Thank you very much. Why would I not... <laughs> so 
Yes, fine. So the kitchen go behind here. Now, I hope that's big enough for a kitchen. I have a terrible, terrible suspicion that's now not going to be bloody big enough. So it needs all sorts of stuff in it, doesn't it? A kitchen is quite a busy thing. So let's just pop that in as a kitchen. Right, slow time down. Let's have a look what it needs. A kitchen sink and a cooker. Can we afford all this thing? <laughs> we probably can't. A cooker's three and a half grand? Is it cooking? Uh, right, how much is a sink? Let's see if we can at least get a few of these items in as we go. A kitchen sink. One and a half thousand dollars for a sink. Bloody hell. Oh, it's massive as well. Bloody hell. Right, that can go in the corner. Right, a kitchen sink. Is there anything that's cheap? Kitchen sink's there. What about a pizza oven, a prep cart, and a fridge? Oh, God. This is all very expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, prep cart. 500. I can cope with that. Yes. Uh, there. That'll do. And a fridge. 3,200 for a fridge. Is that a magic fridge? Right, well, let's put a fridge in. Uh, and then, and then, and then we'll just speed time on because I'm not going to have any money left ever again. Uh, he's done. Ah, right. Okay. So we've not got any funds, but we can now adjust our pricing, can we? So how much we charge airlines to use our runways per usage? Okay. 500. How much we charge airlines to use your terminal per passenger? Let's make it 20. Uh, some airlines are more cost sensitive. Airlines may decide not to work with you if your prices are too expensive or your airport. Or your airport is not good enough, I assume. I'd like to up that to 600. That's a bit of a big increase. Yeah, bugger it. I don't care. Whatever. I've saved it now. It's done. The changes are made. So we need, just need people coming in. We just need time to pass a cooker and a pizza oven. So a cooker, a pizza oven is three and a half thousand. And a cooker was three and a half thousand, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, so we need $7,000 to get our kitchen working at all. That doesn't take into account putting in somebody in there. Uh, who works in the kitchen? Is it a staff person? No, that's customer service. I assume it's a food worker. Takes and prepares orders in retail zones. So I assume... I assume it's a food worker. But I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Um... Okay, no, I don't know. Daily cash flow estimate. So we get 32,000 from, what, per day from people coming in. But then we lose 8,600 on staff. So we come out with 23 grand at the end of the day. Do we? Ooh, well, that's rather good. If we could have that, that's splendid. Yes, we'll certainly take that money coming in. Right, what I might do is I might just leave it until the end of the day. Yes, because we're paying wages per, I think it pays it per hour. So, or is it per couple of hours? So, yeah, so we'll wait until we've actually got some more money. More than that. Wait for some more flights to come in and stuff. Because, yeah, that says we should make 23 grand per day. So, if I leave this until, say, the end of the day, I should be able to kit the kitchen out, which is lovely. Okay, so, yes, the money is indeed coming in. So, I'm going to finish the kitchen. And I've used these. I quite like these. It's a nice little idea. Nice little sort of addition of planning tools. So you can just make an area different colours to sort of plan in your mind where you want stuff. So I want kind of a cafe retail area over here. Because at the minute, everyone just sort of sits on these benches and looks at each other somewhat awkwardly. And then goes and gets on the plane. So it'd be quite nice if everyone could sit here and have a little cafe drink. That'd be nice. Have a coffee or whatever. Hang on. All those people just missed their flight. Why are you so slow? What's wrong with you people? Why did you all miss your flight? How did it take that long? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Pause, pause, pause. Which one was that? The 6pm one? What was everyone doing? Why was everyone dithering about not getting on the plane? Uh, no, that wasn't the 6pm one. That was the other one that left. That must have been that one that left around 6. Well, how late were you? And then everyone still missed it. Yeah, I don't know if changing this thing has helped. Because everyone just wanders around now in the in the road. They never used to it before. So all these passenger vehicles are, you know, like, you know, people are being picked up and dropped off. But they stand in the road, which can't be the most efficient way of doing it. Okay, let's see if everyone can get onto this. So what's coming up next? What flight is next? What time is it? So it's coming at 10pm, star flight. So everyone kind of checks in fine. They're a little bit slow. If you could hurry up and check in and get in, please. Right, what, where's the hold-up? Security. 
Maybe we need another security person. Maybe we need to expand this out and have another set of these security things. Because, yeah, look, here's the queue. The queue is security. Okay. Maybe the kitchen will have to hold fire. Yeah, see, look, that is parting in an hour. There's still a massive, bloody great queue of people waiting for the security thing. And there's not that many people stood in line. People are filtering through very slowly. But, yeah, so the plane is late. Yes, security is our holdup. So come on, everybody, hurry up. Get through bloody security or the plane is going to go. Get on with it, you lot. Look, you don't need to go through the queue now. Just get on board. There's still some stragglers. You, sir. Right, you, passenger. Get on the plane. It's nearly an hour and a half late. Hurry up. I think it's just you lot they're waiting for. 70... Yeah, 72 out of 73. Well, you went to the toilet for about three hours. It's your own bloody fault you missed it, you fool. Yeah, okay, right, so there are some issues with security. Okay, let's make this bit bigger. I think we need to make this bit wider. This is too, it's too cramped. There's too much going on. So it'd be quite good if we could have this bit here uh, all full. And we could have another security scanner thingy. Oh, I like that. They've got the little trays that you put your wallet and your watch and your stuff in. That's quite nice. So, foundation. We need to put that in, so that's fine, so it costs eight cra Oh my goodness me. Right, so I can't afford to do that to start with. Bloody hell, eight grand that's going to cost. Okay, fine. Yes, let's, let's do that then. Go on, get on with it. I'm broke now, come on. Get the builder guys out. At least that's an extra light, an extra tiny little bit. And then I want to build a bit along here. Yeah, that's just going to look weird. That's just going to look really strange. How do I just build? I just want floors. A decorative indoor flooring. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I need more money, please. Because yeah, now I want to do that. And that's another eight grand. So, yeah, okay. Another eight grand. Now I've got no money again. Get the builder guys in to do this. They'll hopefully drop off the stuff. They can use their little sort of cool access gate thing down here. The outdoor gate. So he can build all that. And then we can take off... A row. I mean, is this the best way to do it? Is this how it works? Uh, removes walls and indoor flooring down to grass. Oh, we don't want to do that. No, that that's that's certainly not what we want to do. We want to do that. Take those out. And then ideally we want it to do again. <laughs> we want another bit along here. We need some more money. Give us some more money, please. Yeah, we've not got quite enough. We need eight grand. And I'm not going to get eight grand. I need to put that over there, look. I'm ever so, just shy, just ever so slightly shy. Yeah, I just need some more money. Yes, beautiful. That is exactly what I needed. Right, okay, build that bit. And, yeah, we need to wait for the builder guys to come in. Then I can zone out that bit to take that out. And then I should be able to have enough room for another bit more security, which is good. Yeah, why haven't they built the edge... There, that's a bit... The whole building thing is a bit weird. It's the fact that it builds walls around where you want to go is a bit odd. But okay, what about that as well then? Do that. Where are you bugging off to? <laughs> Come back. Come back, builder people. That guy's just stood there. Your workman just stood there staring. I shouldn't have gone to pick up the stuff. Yeah, there he is. You're a good work person. You're quick. And then we want to clear these bits here like that and that. And that'll mean we can have a bigger security area, which means we can have more people here on these security front desk things, the ID check stands, and a bit more room for all these other people to sort of filter through, because this is busy. This is a bit of a choke point. I need to sort this out, really. So, yeah, let's make that security. Oh, and it hasn't got a very nice floor. Can we, is floor free? But do I need to pay for the floor? F oh, God, 50? Really? What floor have they already got? A kind of stripy looking floor. That one. Okay, we'll, we'll zone that out like that. I assume... Do the builder guys come and do that as well? Does someone, do they get like tiles? I don't understand why everyone's walking up. I don't get it. I don't understand. Right, come and do the floors. Make it look pretty. Yes, that's the same floor. I'm fairly sure that is the same floor. Right, so you can fly along and do that. Let's put time normal speed. We need another ID check stand. This is our issue. We've not got enough of these. In fact, can we even have four? Can we put one there and one there? Yeah, that might work. So you've got four ID check stands, which is beautiful. And we need two more security people. Not enough money. Oh, 
Po. Okay, how much is a security person? Two grand to hire and 20 hours. Oh, my is slightly shy. Okay, fine. We'll have to wait for the next flight or whatever to come in. So, yeah. Let's wait until we've got, actually got the money. They've done all that. That's I like that, though. That's a good change. We just need to wait now. So, there. They're in. Ah! They've moved onto the deck. Oh, God. Right. Okay. We need a flight to come in because we need some security people. Right. That's better. Uh, see, look. The queue for security is very much down. Look at that. It's working. That's beautiful. Yeah, I want a way to stop. Because look, the people trying to get through are being blocked by these guys. Is there some way where I can force them to go a different way? Like, how are they supposed to get out otherwise? Because they are really in the way. When they come through here, walk into security the other way around, you normally have like an out bit. So, you know, you go in here and then you come out another way. Is that what the security gate things are for? There's a thing for security gate, and I didn't quite understand. Security exit. A secure area boundary. This allows passengers to transition to non-secure areas. So would I want to put one, say, in there or something? I don't really understand how they work. So would I need a little gap for them to then walk through? I don't know, but we can employ our two security people. So yes, yeah, so let's have you and you. So we've got it fully manned to so security now. Right, I'm $65 in the red. That's fine. I can cope with that. I think that'll come back up. Particularly now, we should be sorted with this as well. We should be sorted with our security. I don't imagine there's going to be much of a queue anymore. Which is good. Which is what we want. Yes, already, look. We're in the black. That's good. Yeah, this is definitely an issue, look. The people coming out get in the way of the people going through security. They literally take the quickest route possible. Like, right, I'm coming this way, I'm walking past this tree, and I'm walking down here, and that's where I'm going. I don't know how to counter that. I don't know how to sort of zone off. Because once they go in here, past security, they have to kind of go through security, I guess. Unless we move all this... No, I don't want to move it, though. I could have done with putting all the security bits down here. And the queue... Yeah, maybe shrink baggage claims. Then I want to move that over. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Because they're going to come through. They're literally going to come through and walk along here. The path of least resistance. Like a racing track. So, yeah, that's the quickest way we can get out. We don't want to walk down here where it's nice and empty. We want to walk along here. Past the security scanners. Bashing into everybody. Smack into these ID check stands. Bash away past everybody to get out. Then presumably walk home. I don't know why you can't go and pick up. But there you go. So, yeah... That would mean we would need to move, which I don't think you can move anything either. I don't believe you... Oh, hang on a minute. Are they assigned to the queues? Uh, oh, yeah, they are assigned, I think. Yes, I think they are all assigned. Oh, no, is it? Assigned to. Does that assign to that one? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, they're not. Okay, well, let's assign it to that queue. Yes, please. That one is assigned. That one isn't. Uh, okay, so they just did anything. Okay, fine. Right, so you're all assigned to that queue. Yes, I would need to move all you lot down to the bottom. The metal detector and stuff down here. And those down here. And everyone inbound would go through the queue. Walk along the bottom of the security area. And I'd expand this out a bit. And then walk up and out. But at the minute, that is not happening. That is not ideal. And what are our janitors doing? Janitors, where are you? Are you doing anything at all? You've got a dumpster. They're just wandering about. They're just cleaning the toilets. Okay, if you could hurry up a little bit, that'd be that'd be grand. Right, so here we go. Let's see if this has worked. In people come. We'll put time on sort of double speed. So in people come through security. So there's a lot of people for this one. So people coming in with their bags are going into the ticketing bit. People with only hand luggage are going to the ticketing kiosk. A minor queue for the ticketing kiosks. Look, I might need to put another one of those in maybe. That might be worth doing. It's a shame you can't move things. That's a shame. Like, I just want to move that bin over a square. I don't want to have to dismantle it. Surely a bin isn't nailed to the ground. I just want to pick it up, move it there so I can put another ticketing t uh, ticketing kiosk? Ticketing kiosk even in. But yeah, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can move anything. Right, so is security working? It's certainly better than it was. People are indeed moving. How late? Ah, the plane has only just got here. So deplaning and cleaning. There's people in line already. The baggage is being unloaded. So boarding starts in five minutes. So already people are waiting to board. This is better. This is better. And it leaves in over an hour. So hopefully all you lot 
stragglers at the end will be able to get through. Okay, I think we might need more of these as well. More ticketing desks, more ticketing kiosks. How much is a ticketing uh, kiosk? I cannot say ticketing kiosk without sounding like I've been drinking gin all day. Ticketing kiosk. 1,900. Let's put another one of those in. And that might stop queues forming here and get people down here quicker. That's good. Also, this queue is a bit rubbish, isn't it? Let's expand that queue up so it starts there. So people can literally come down, get in the queue. They don't have to then walk around to the back of the queue. They can just walk straight down. Right. The plane is departing. It's, okay, it's late. The plane is late. Come on, you lot. Get on the plane. It's half an hour late already. You're all standing in line. Is there anyone left? There's a few late people. Come on. <laughs> get on the plane. You, sir, are taking your time. You're going to miss the plane, given that it's supposed to depart in... Well, it's an hour and a half late. So I don't know what you're playing at, buddy. But if you miss it, I think on your head bit... You've got... Oh, right. You've got time to go to the toilet, have you? Right, I see. Fine. I hope you missed the plane. Yeah, good. Tough bloody luck. Or are you waiting for the next one? Oh, no, you're waiting for the next flight. Oh, lovely. Splendid. Okay, right. This is working. This is better. So putting these in, I might get another ticketing desk next time as well. Okay, fine. I think we're going to stop there. But that was pretty good. I think we've not made any radical changes. We need to finish our kitchen off, turn this into the, um, the the lovely sort of cafe area, maybe put another ticketing desk in. Yeah, I think that's going pretty well. This has been important. Putting these extra security desks in has really helped, I think. I think it's got people over here far quicker than it did do before. Yeah, and I see, we might, have to need, we might need to put some more restrooms in as well. Possibly put another restroom up here, maybe, so the CFO can be surrounded by toilets, because that's what he dreamed of when he got his whatever it was, degree in finance, and then you can run an airport. Yes, toilets to the left of me, toilets to the right. So, I think that's going very well. And yeah, next time we'll finish off this bit and get this sort of cafe bit done, if we can, and possibly take on another flight? I don't know, that might be a bit risky. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Ted, run, 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 Ted, 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 run quicker, Ted. Oh, Ted is green. Oh, dear. Timmy is looking very bad. Okay, there's still the same amount of water. I'm guessing we didn't get robbed. Ah, we got robbed. In no way is this going to break the radio, Ted. And you've broken the radio, Ted.